And then he told me that the reason why they were even coming to me is because people were sending me dark magic attacks. And I'm like, what? <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm okay then. <laughs> and that's how I found out that I'm connected to like different, um, cause they're called uh, voodoo energies. But the thing is vo we're taught voodoo is evil. It's like, no, no, no. People that have negative intentions to harm people tend to use voodoo energy because voodoo energy is powerful, primordial, ancient energies. Mm -hmm. And then they use it for negative things. near-death experiences so you said how many have you experienced i've had three three yeah okay how many of them are you willing to talk about um i mean most of them you know because they weren't really like traumatic experiences okay it's just that um because some of them were through meditation because there's uh, something called a near-death meditation, actually, where you essentially stop breathing, but it's because you get to a state where your lungs breathe, like using um, pranic energy or Reiki energy. Yeah. And then it allows you to astral project as if you had died. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, when I found out that was real, I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and try that. Ooh, and you and tried I met my, it. Yep. And I met my higher self, like literally like as a physical light being in front of me, dancing and talking to me and answering all my questions from the Akashic Records. So I'm just like, what's happening? Like I'm talking right now, I'm just like, wait, 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 what's going on? I, well, well, what are you? And my higher self was like, oh, I'm you. And just like dancing. I mean, then what am I? And I was like, you're me. Like, then, then what are we? And it's like, and then and it just kept going. He was like, these are our past lives, these are our future lives. And I'm just like getting downloaded all this information. I'm like, I knew that there was more to this than just you die and disappear. Cause you don't, that's nonsense. So. Wow, that, that's kind of, that's actually dope. I've never heard of that. This is the first time of me hearing it, actually. Yeah, you because the, 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 higher ups, yeah, the higher ups don't want us near death experiencing stuff. <laughs> They're like, nah, go to work, go to work. Yeah. Make start. But yeah, no. Like I've, like I've heard different stories on YouTube, but that was the first time I've heard like a meditation type. You know, usually somebody's gotten hit by a car or they were in the surgery room and they bled mm -hmm. out. You know what I'm saying? It's this yeah. stuff like that, but not like that. That's deep. Um, what about uh, another one that you've had? Okay, so that was the one where I met my higher self. Okay, so another time um, I was in the desert and it was same same thing, uh, near-death experience meditation where it just ended up getting a lot deeper than I expected. And um, that's when I met the god Ganesh, who's the Indian, uh, the Indian elephant god of, um, of high intelligence. And he's also the, what is it? It's like the obstacle clearer and the door opener. So it's like same energy as uh, Anubis and Metatron, who are also two other uh, high dimensional beings that I, like I come from the bloodline. So it's like, because what I'm here to do is I'm here to like, like what we're doing right now, bring information to those that are looking for it and searching for it and that like want it and need it and that are going to actually use it. So it's the same thing where when I met him, because like I had said, because you always set an intention before you meditate, like you set an intention before everything. And then that makes sure it's essentially like you're programming the world and the universe to, to pretty much bend to your will. Like that's what it is. Like, what do you want? And the universe is like, okay. You know, it isn't like, universe, I'm going to trick you and bend you. And it's like, ah, it's like, <laughs> oh, it's, you, you bend it as in you bend it with your mind. You're just like, ha ha, <laughs> I'm going to make this happen because I want it. So, <clears throat> so I set the intention that, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> so I set the intention that I wanted to meet the spirit. Like, I was like, okay, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure all this is real. Like, I, I, I believe it's real, but I want to know who is my main spirit guide? Like, who's the spirit guide that like, I chose and all of that. And yeah, when I went into the meditation and I started like astral projecting and I, yeah, Ganesh met me. And I was like, wow, this is freaking me out. Cause he was huge. 
this is, but he was uh, he was in his because he has two forms. He was in his uh, his his human in like his Indian human form, and then um, and then he has his elephant form. But yeah, it's like I saw him at the at the gateway, the gateway right before I, I went. It's referred to as a blast off when uh, when a deity takes you to where they're from. Essentially, they take you to to their um, their home planet or their home dimension. And so, like, I actually went through each dimension and I saw what they each look like. They look very similar to the movie Soul, uh, the okay. Disney movie Soul. Uh, there's a there's a I think it's like in the first 30 minutes where the guy like he so he's died and then his spirit is in it's in the fifth dimension and he's going he's like on this uh it's like a, a escalator that's going to or like a conveyor belt that's floating towards like the white light but if you go into the white light after you die like literally you reincarnate like that's what that is because it's a it's a portal back he, back to earth like that's what that's that, what that, a, that's what a, bright, white light yeah it's a portal so if you don't just go into it then you get to do other stuff and like let's say there's a grandparent that you you're supposed to talk to when you when you die and you astral project you pop out of your body then they come meet you and they're like hey we have work to do then you can go do your fun work and yeah rather than anything else <laughs> wow. it's supposed to be enjoyable like it's not supposed to be like ah, i'm scared i don't want this it's like no it, we are made of everything in the universe nothing is scary nothing can hurt you wow that's deep. I haven't even seen that movie. I'm gonna have to watch that with the kids. Yeah. So movie. Yep. And you said he was huge. Wow. So I I remember I had asked you about a dream interpretation, and you had said that uh you are connected to Baram Samdi too, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. And how did you find discover that? Uh, cause I I got this black hat mm -hmm. when I was at a thrift store. I was like, ooh. A black fuzz because I started getting into uh, fuzzy bucket hats, right? Okay. I was like, I love this regular bucket hats. Yeah, fuzzy. Yeah, because like I like staying warm. Like it's like my main thing. So I started wearing this hat, and then I started real because I didn't get it because like, oh, I'm super into black hats. I don't ever wear black hats ever really. Like it's just not it's not a thing where I'm like, yeah, I did love that as a kid. It's like no, not really. So when I when I started wearing this, I started to like. He pretty much started to come to me essentially. And then I did it like, cause I, I do these deep uh, shaman meditations with myself. I also walk people through different like experiences, meditations and trips, but that's like a, a side thing. So I was doing like a deep shaman meditation because I wanted to like tap into the energies. Cause I was like, okay, why? Like, so essentially I'm wearing like this hat, like bucket hats, like the ones that I wear are essentially top hats. But the way that I wear it, it like doesn't look like that because like I wear things like my way. You know, I'm like, ah, I wear like a like a grandma kind of it's like a, a little <laughs> flip up. It's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, show my hair. But when it but it was mainly the hat that because I was like the black hat, I've seen that before. But Baron Somebody wears the black top hat because black mm -hmm. top hats are magical. Like even with with Frosty, how does Frosty become alive? Mm. Black and top the hat. Mad flies on his head. Yep. It's like the top hat is it's magical. Like it's it's like, but it, it also, it's us accessing our crown chakra. So it has to do with that, which is like the highest chakra when it comes to uh, like your knowing of higher dimensional information. So I started to connect with Baron Sandi and, um, and Baba Legba, because those are two of the same, it's like essentially the same energy, just two different forms of it. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so I created like a mental, a mental space, which is how I like bring in deities, like sometimes. So I make a created mental space and I called them in because I wanted to meet them. But then they started filling my box, like, like, because it's like a white box room. They started filling it with this black mist, right? And then one of my, um, my dead uncles that I never met, he actually came through and blasted that space with this divine white light. And he's like, no, like, they're actually trying to come in and like, they were going to try and like, take over and manipulate you. But you come from their bloodline. So I needed to tell you that first so that you understand they're actually under your control. And I was like, what? And then he told me that the reason why they were even coming to me is because people were sending me dark magic attacks. And I'm like, what? <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm okay then. <laughs> and that's how I found out that I'm connected to like different, um, cause they're called uh, voodoo energies. But the thing is vo we're taught voodoo's evil. It's like, no, no, no. People that have negative intentions to harm people tend to use voodoo energy because voodoo energy is powerful, primordial, ancient energies. Mm -hmm. and then they use it for negative things and then that's what we're told through media yeah voodoo. it's like no there's just like how there's beings of light that have negative intentions still like right. okay there are priests and pastors that have had negative intentions okay yeah it's like that where just because you say i am this doesn't mean that there is that that there's only one like one size fits all it's not what's going on it's your intentions because 
these high sciences, these are just like, okay, black magic, supposed to be bad, right? What do they call us? Black people. Yeah. And how do they look at us? And how are we portrayed all around the world? In this new, yeah, we, we did, okay, we were originally here on earth, okay? We're not trying to hurt nobody. And I'm just yeah. saying, there are people with different intentions because one size doesn't fit all. But in general, when it comes to white magic, black, no, what are your green magic? What are your intentions? Because you can do green magic, which is which is plants and herbs and stuff. And you can hurt people with that if your intentions are negative.